All right, people. So <clears throat> we're going to be doing a review today on the tester of this uh, wireless <clears throat> wireless microphone. So yeah, I've got it pinned onto my shirt down here. I'm not too sure how good the sounds yet until I watch back on this video. But yeah, that was sent to me by one of my mates through YouTube. So yeah, thank you very much for that. Uh, you noticed something different about me. I've got some new tattoos. Uh, obviously the camera's back to front, you know, because I'm facing towards the phone rather than the other side. Anyways, this uh, this says loyalty. And then I also got a peace and love symbol. And then a cross on the side of my face. So, yeah. This has got to be uh, the most painful tattoo I've ever had. Uh, I was expecting it to take a lot longer. You know, that tattoo and these uh, took about an hour and a half. I was expecting at least, you know, two and a half, three hours. So, yeah. Um, the pain's wore off now. I'm going to do a, well, <clears throat> I'm going to try to do a review. Because we all know how bad I am at reviewing things. Uh, this Chaplin and Corks Somerset Vintage Cider. Um, there's a YouTuber who I'm subscribed to. He uh, goes by the name of WXPM slash Denby Vids. If I remember, I'll link his channel in the description. Um, he, do, he does uh, videos every Sunday, uh, making a Sunday roast. And uh, this, is, this is one of his favourites. I think, anyways, I see him drinking it quite a lot. He drinks loads of different sizes on the weekends, but I have seen him with this one quite a lot, so I presume it's one of his favourites. Uh, it's nice and strong, 8.2%. Um, I, I thought that said Winter National. It says <laughs> International Cider Challenge 2016. That writing's a bit bad. Uh, it's a 500ml. Uh, X. I cannot, I cannot read this part down here. Equis, something medium dry. Equisite, equisite medium dry. Uh, let's read the back. <clears throat> so it says Chaplin and Corks Somerset Vintage Cider. Equisite, 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 <laughs> medium dry. Our master cider makers, Bob Chaplin and Bob Cork, Bob and Bob, <laughs> <clears throat> Bob Chaplin and Bob Cork had a simple passion to make cider, to surpass all others using only fresh juice of, of the finest English apples. They pressed and crafted an ex exquisite, is that, what that, is that what that old English word says? Exquisite. Um, where we are, ex Exquisite. Correct me in the comments, please. Range of ciders. <clears throat> and disguise them as batch 417 at our cider mill to savour or saviour uh, for their own enjoyment. The secret didn't last long and word quickly spread just how special these ciders were. We are now delighted to celebrate and share. We are now delighted to celebrate and share. Our range of Chaplin and Cork, Chaplin and Cork's legendary ciders. <clears throat> Ingredients: cider, water, sugar, acids, malic acid, citric acid, preservative, sodium metabisulfur, sodium metabisulfate. <laughs> right, uh, four point one units. Oh, that's nice for a. 500 mil of it. The Scrumpy Jacks, what I used to drink a lot of, I think they're 2.5 units. Could be three. And, you know, that's like a 440 mil can or a 500 mil can. Uh, 4.1. But you can expect that for an 8.2% cider. Um, I was just going to say, I don't think I've ever seen a stronger cider than 8.2%. But this K cider. It's case side at 8.5 or 8. Hmm. Anyways, uh, let's get this bottle of cider opened. Right, I don't have a... I used to have a bottle opener on the fridge, but it broke. Uh, I have no bottle opener in the drawer. In fact, 
Yes, I do. You know, I was going to try and use a spoon to open it. <laughs> but I'm not going to disappoint you because that may have given some of you a laugh. So I'm still going to try and use a spoon. You know, like they do with the clippers. That worked pretty well. <coughs> right. Oh, that smells strong. You can certainly smell the alcohol. Yeah, if if someone blindfolded me and said, "Watch this," I would say that's strong cider. <laughs> you know, you, you don't need to be. Uh, you don't. Uh, what, what was I going to say? Um, you you don't need to be able to see it to know it's cider. You know, you can tell straight away by the by the pungent smell. That is really strong. That has got to be like. One of the strongest ciders, if not the strongest I've ever smelled. I mean, like, I, I brew my own scrumpy now and again, and I make that awfully strong. Uh, but you probably consider it a wine, because I make it, like, 12% and above. Uh, anything above 9% is classed as a wine. I don't know why, because it's still apples. Um, so I don't know how it could be a wine. Alright, anyways, enough nattering on. It's six and a half minutes into the video. So let's get uh, let's get drinking. And let's hope... Oh, I thought the, mic... I thought the microphone was off. Let's hope the microphone is uh, going well. Ah, thank you, everyone. If you're drinking with me, cheers. If not, cheers anyways. Hope you're all having a good day. I'm going to burp. Uh, sorry about that. I just padded the fucking microphone by an accident. Right, let's go. Oh, fuck me, that's strong as fuck. Holy shit. Fuck. Ooh, that's like swallowing a fucking atomic bomb of alcohol. It's like, <clears throat> oh, Jesus. It's like you put that much cider in and filled the rest with vodka. You know, you get like a really strong cider taste. But then you swallow it and it's like, boom. Vodka. Oh god. I'm not too sure I like this. <laughs> it could be better chilled. I forgot to mention that. Or oh, did I mention it? It wasn't chilled, I just I left it in the cupboard. So yeah, it's room temperature, but Jesus Christ, that's fucking strong. I mean I I normally like strong drinks. As in uh percentage wise. But that that flavour is really I'm not too sure what I'm going to be able to drink all of this. Oh. Should we get my dad to come and have a test? I'll get my dad to come and have a test. Right there. <clears throat> Bob. Yeah. Come in the kitchen a minute. Right, it's coming through. I would have paused the video, but it's already eight minutes long, and to merge it together would have just took forever. <clears throat> have a have a have a taste of this for me for me YouTube. It's it's from the shop. I haven't I haven't brewed it. It's not it's not super booze or I brew. How many percent, sir? Eight eight point two. Have a have a taste though. See how pungent it is. Isn't that, isn't that like, it's like drinking cider and vodka? No. It is. I, like, I like, I like strong ciders, but that's, that's like, isn't it, isn't it like it's mixed with loads of vodka? Isn't it? Can, can you taste, can you, can you taste like vodka? It's like it's being, Ugh. it's like it's being mixed with vodka, isn't it? Aye. Oh, fucking hell. Don't knock that back, every percent, is it? <sighs> I, I couldn't knock it back if I wanted to. 8.2. Yeah, that's <laughs> really fucking strong. Right, you make yourself badly. 
Right, so even though I didn't want to stop the video, uh, I had to just because of the background noise, you know what I mean. Um, <clears throat> right, yeah, let's get back to uh, printing some of this rocket fuel. That's what we'll call it. It's not uh, it's not Chaplin and Corks, it's fucking rocket fuel. Chaplin and Corks, rocket fuel cider. You probably could power a fucking rocket on this stuff. Or at least your fucking car. How many times do I need to say fucking in one video? Ah, so yeah, <clears throat> uh, new tattoos, uh, it was only a hundred quid, I tipped him, a, I tipped him a tenner, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite happy with it, I was going to get some shading, I was going to get some shading, but I thought the shading, uh, you know, it will stand out a lot more without the shading, you know what I mean, the shading will sort of, uh, what's the word for it? Like darken it, you know what I mean? Like from a distance, it, it won't be more noticeable. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh. Hope you're all well. Uh. If you're drinking uh, right now while you're watching this video, comment below what you're drinking. Or if you're smoking, if you know what I mean, comment below what you're smoking. Uh. The more I drink this, the more, uh, the less pungent it's getting. <clears throat> it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like when you drink Frosty Jacks, not as, not as in flavour, but, uh, you know, when you, when you have your first few mouthfuls of Frosty Jacks, it's fucking disgusting, it makes you fucking walk, it makes you want to be sick. But you've got to get past them first few mouthfuls, and then, and then it's like, nice, but an odd nice, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> right, sorry about that. Uh, my nephew came into the room. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, like when you drink Frosty Jacks, it's disgusting for the first few mouthfuls. Uh, once you get past that, um, it's nice, but like an odd type of nice, if you know what I mean. Like a like like an acquired taste, you know what I mean. Like once you got past that horrible, ugh, I'm not even gonna go. I'm not even gonna go into it. I struggle to review things anyways. I'm not going to try and review a bottle of Frosty when I haven't got one with me. I think I might have even reviewed Frosty Jacks further down in the channel. I know I definitely reviewed Ami uh, Amigo. <laughs> Amiga. Why the fuck did I say Amigo? <laughs> Amiga. Remember the Amiga? I used to drink it a lot back when I was 15. And then... Uh, Couple of months ago, uh, I seen it in the shop and I thought, "Fucking hell, blast from the past!" I need to do a video with that. Uh, if I remember about that, I'll put the link in the description. Right, sorry about that. Once again, people people keep walking in the room, and I completely forgot what I was talking about. I think I was talking about Omega White Cider, and then I was going to link it in the description down below. Um, yeah, I'm run, running out of things to talk about, so I'm going to quickly get this finished and then uh, get to uploading this video. Uh, peace out. Take care.